I'm sure we've all got one somewhere aloft. And if we haven't, then uh, this video is not for you. So the idea here is a CB antenna that will fit into your loft. Perfect if you're a member of an HOA or uh, something that prevents you from putting aerials outside. You know, it turns out I haven't got a lot of uh, light in here, uh, but I've got a very reasonably uh, good amount of headroom. So we'll measure that now, see if we can put our uh, CB aerial in. Bear with me. 101, what's that? Two, 2.5 meters, just over. So I have 2.5 meters of headroom I'll keep that to one side. But, so what do I need to make a reasonably good CB antenna in my loft? Um, well, we'll make it a quarter wave vertical. And on the bottom of that, we're gonna need maybe three or four ground planes. Okay. I need to work out my quarter wave length and how long I can get away with on, on these, these ground planes. I could probably get more than uh, than three or four. Um, okay, let's let's work out the height for that. Three hundred uh, divided by twenty-seven point um, one two five for channel fourteen in the in the states and the uh, the lower set in the UK. That's the set ones, or twenty-seven. Uh, let's call it five hundred. So we'll be in the middle of the band. Uh, so, which equals, let's get the calculator for that. So 300 uh, divided by 27.5 equals, <laughs> already 11 meter band, uh, 10.9 um, meters, um, divide that by four to get our quarter wave. 2.27, ooh, okay. Um, 2.2, sorry, 2.72 uh, meters. Um, so we need to times that by 0.95, um, 2.5. Um, so times 0.95, uh, that's our um, velocity factor for copper. Uh, and we are looking at 2.59. And I have 2.5. So we're not going to get there, are we? So we need to put a coil. 259, which is, funnily enough, 102 inches um yeah oh that should be fun okay and we've got uh, 2.5 meters to play with so let's make our aerial 2.4 so 2.4 meters is 94 and a half inches okay so let's take what we know go to the computer work out where we can put our coil and uh, how many turns. So just in case I'm jumping ahead, I'm not trying to. Uh, so what my intention is, is to make the aerial 2.4 meters tall and approximately two meters, maybe one and a half meters up the pole. I'm going to cut it in half and put a coil, a loading coil so that we've got a center fed loading coil or a center placed loading coil uh, which will bring the overall height of our aerial down to the 2.4 meters uh, but electrically it will still be 102 inches or 2.59 meters tall and our ground radials which will be just bits of wire strung over the loft floor um, will be any length I can get in, but probably um, all the same length as the as the main area. So they'll be uh, I don't know two two and a half meters long. Okay, so let's see if we can work out what we need here, 
with the height of this bit between the ground and the coil, the height between the coil and the top of the aerial, and how many turns we're going to need uh, using our micro Henry calculator. Okay. So on our computer at uh, 66 Pacific, we put our um, eight foot, which is the height of our um, antenna. Um, we put in the coil in the middle, so that's four foot, and uh, we're going to use 27.5 megahertz. And uh, our resulting is we need a, a coil of 0.6 microfarads. So coil inductance calculator. Um, again, we're going to calculate four turns. Uh, it's on a three uh, centimeter former, and we uh, are going to space the uh, the coil at half a centimeter, maybe a centimeter. Calculate that, and we get very close, 0.7 microfarads, that will do. Okay, so now that we're armed with all the information that we need, we need the bottom section of our antenna to be four foot long, uh, which is what in centimeters? That's a good question. Um, is that 140 or 160 centimeters? Bear with me one moment. Okay, so four feet is 122 centimeters or 1.2 meters. Uh, so there we go, and we need that at both ends, 22 centimetres. We need, we need to put a, um, a coil in the middle uh, with a gap of around about uh, maybe two centimetres, uh, maybe less. Um, two centimetre gap? Yeah, okay, two centimetre gap. Okay, so we need to cut a hundred, sorry, 259 centimeters or 102 inches of uh, wire for our antenna. Um, so let's just measure that out quickly. Okay, so we've got our length of wire, which is uh, just over 2.9, 2.9, 2.59 meters long, or uh, 102 inches. A little bit longer, because obviously I might need to trim it. Um, and also, uh, I couldn't find any three uh, centimeter diameter pipe. I thought I had some, but I didn't. So this is four centimeter uh, diameter. Uh, which is um inch and a quarter, I think. Um, maybe an inch and a half, no, probably inch and a half, four centimetres. Uh, and I've cut a length which is, uh, well, basically a four by four. Isn't that amazing? Um, I'm gonna, I've drilled two holes in it, as you can see. Uh, and I'm going to use that for my, for my coil point. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Uh, so we'll start... And we'll start by putting our fennel. So I've decided to use some strip connectors to do this. So I'm going to use a ferrule on the end. There we go. Lovely 
job. I need to measure up at 120 centimeters or four foot. One meter. Okay. We'll feed this fruit. So I find a little black mark which I just made, which is there. And we'll turn. I think that's probably two turns around that. If I can get it in the O. Okay, so I need to make that a bit neater, so bear with me while I I'm going to put some tape around it. Red tape, very in keeping with the red wire. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's our aerial. Um, obviously, I haven't cut it to SWR it yet, um, but that's about uh, that's about it. So I'll just throw it over the top and we'll put a small amount of uh, heat shrink. I'm not going to heat shrink it because I'm going to have to cut it, but uh, it's going to be useful. That's something to hang it with, drawing pin or something, you know? So there's our, there's our driven element, all done. Now, let's make some radials. Okay, so we have got our ground radials. I have uh, sewed it together. Uh, I think I managed to get five into that uh, connector and I've heat shrunk it, put a fork connector on the end. And the idea that will sit inside this, uh, in fact, I'll put it together now. Um, so I've got strip connector which I shall put that into and the centre core oops that's the other end I need centre core goes in this side like so I'll just tighten that down in fact I could do the other way around couldn't I Make it look a bit neater so that we can understand what's going on. So center core in. And now, do exactly the same on this one. I need to open that a bit further, I think. No, no, I got it. I got it. See how that works? Okay, so let's go and hang it in our loft. Spread the radials out and uh, 
like an SWR meter on it. So here we go in our rather messy um, loft. <laughs> but hey, here it is, our coil. And it's rather scrappily, but just literally, let me see if I can, there you go. It's literally just taped to the, to the rafter. And as you can see, it just comes down to the coil down to our strip connector at the bottom and our radials are just going in every direction. So let's go downstairs and uh, add SWR it. Okay, let's uh, check the SWR. Okay, where are we at? 24, oh, all right. Boom, uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's quite good. It's 1.2 at 26 and, oh, it's climbing. Okay. Climbing, 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 climbing. 27, 28, 28, 27.8, 28, 28, 1 1.9. Okay. I definitely need to shorten it, but, uh, in principle it works so um i'm not going to do any more to it at the moment i'll uh, i think that's uh, good enough we'll test it tonight and see uh, if it gets out in the middle of, Jan <laughs> in the middle of january the phone did go three four o'clock in the morning you know so me with a bloody puncher on the motorway something like that you had to get out and drag yourself up there you know and, uh, you know, nearly nice and snow and all sorts of stuff. So I think he's liking it, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, see, the job is, the job I, they used to pay me rocket money, mate. Like, at least 700 quid a... 20. Oh, yeah, it sure is. That's when the bed's bouncing up and down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and all that green puke as well. QSK. Come on in. Yeah, good evening, chaps. It's uh, Mike here. Oh, hello, stranger Mike. How are you? I'm fine to middling, thank you very much indeed. Just wondering if you could give me a very, 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 very quick radio check. I'll just put an aerial in the loft. Uh, it's a bit of copper uh, for one of my videos, and um, I was wondering how it's getting out to you, Paul. Oh, nice and clear and plus 30. Excellent stuff. What about you, John? Yeah, radio 4 to 5 and a signal 7. Okay, well that's cool. That's not too bad at all. Thanks very much, chaps. I'll uh, turn the um, the video off and uh, and uh, I'll come back and talk to you properly. Okay.